Hi everybody, this is Beth with Love the Kayak and we're gonna try out today two different GoPros. My original GoPro Hero 5 versus the new Hyper Smooth GoPro Hero 8. I'll be curious to see how it goes. Ride along with me as I put these to the test on my mountain bike. Need to inflate the tires. Got the GoPro mount ready to go. It's on the back. So you're gonna be seeing the tip of the helmet. But... Okay, this is the GoPro Hero 5. We are recording on 4K, 30 frames per second on wide. To make this video happen, I'm actually using the memory card out of this one, which is the GoPro Hero 5. I'm um, using sorry, the memory stick out of this one, and I'm going to switch it into the other one. And so here it is. But you notice I have this case and I have the GoPro. Well, with the new GoPro Hero 8 that you see here, um, it's all encased, it's all in one. Um, so there's no need you know, to take it out, which I think is coincidentally maybe why they switched some of the features around. So for instance, uh, the power button is on the opposite side and um, rather than going on the bottom to access the panel for the uh, battery and the memory card, you have to access it from the side. So you just gotta pop it out and slide it up, I believe. And it pops off really easy in case you can't tell. I'm gonna fit in the new memory card, the memory card so that I don't have to uh, dink around. All right, we're good to go. I just wanted to show that feature um, because it's just a little bit different from the prior two models. On the last video, what I did is I recorded in 4K. Anyway, it says 4K, 24 pr frames per second. Now I want to show the two cameras side by side. I think this is where you can see the most difference between the two. What you may notice is on the left hand side the Hero 5 is a little shakier but the helmet stays smooth. On the right hand side the helmet is what bounces while the rest of the visuals definitely stay more smooth. So interesting you know evidence of the hyper smooth technology that GoPro has built into their new camera and it's kind of interesting to see it side by side in the exact same scenario, a little bit different time of day, so the lighting's a bit different. But for the most part, there's the difference. Thanks for watching. Subscribe today to Love to Kayak.